guys, I cannot contain my excitement. We are here. We're finally here at the Sofitel Manila to experience the Spiral Buffet. The Spiral Buffet. This is famous world round. They have 21 dining ateliers, which is basically 21 sections, ranging from northern Indian, sushi, desserts, chocolate, salad, if you're feeling healthy, and even some very quality bread. So guys, I am so excited. Let's take a little tour of this place and see what's good. Guys, we've only passed the desserts and I'm so amazed. It's the cheese room. <laughs> Guys, I'm like a kid in a candy shop right now. I am, I have no words for this place. <laughs> Even the bread is nice. <laughs> uh, a bit of a meager plate to start off the night. I just went to the Japanese section and also got a bit of some, a bit of cold cuts. I got some hamon and some sauce sec. I think that was a, that's what it was called. I'm not sure. But firstly, let's taste this hamon serrano. I love me some hamon. Mm. We also got this um, some. I think it might be some. Soba noodles with some soba sauce. All right, mm. a bit of a gingery component to it. Very cold and fresh. Mm. Some dory tempura. Mm. Okay. I feel like one of my biggest weaknesses as a Filipino is that in a buffet, I go ham with the rice because I need to have rice with everything, so I'm not gonna repeat that mistake today. So, I got like no rice in my first thing. First meagerly sized plate done, on to the next one. I have absolutely no theme when it comes to choosing my plates. I got a mixture of some sashimi, some French inspired dishes, some prime rib and a sausage. I'm gonna give the sausage a try. Oh, it's good. It's shrimp. And, and spicy and fatty. Good bite to it. Mm. I've grown out of steak quite a bit in the past few years, but let's see if this converts me back. This is some prime rib. Mmm, um, that's some good steak. So fatty and tender, it just pulls apart in your mouth really easy. Oh man, if steak, if all the steak I would have was having like a few years ago were like this, I'd have it more often. Also got some potato gratin. Ooh, so creamy. Slight hint of a truffle flavor. Oh, that is beautiful. Mm. Mashed potato. Oh yeah. Really fluffy. Really good mashed potato. I've never actually had octopus sashimi before, or octopus for that matter. So let's taste. I've always wanted to taste it. Mm. Chewy, clean, fresh. That's not bad. And I'm, I'm taking it so easy right now. I'm literally just accompanying Eliana as she gets stuff so I can film her do stuff. <laughs> Gotta take it easy. So what did you get there? Um, I just got a bunch of random stuff. Like I literally have like Chinese. Korean, Indian, Japanese. <laughs> I tend to go for the Asian stuff. So I got this like Chinese prawn dish. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it looks good. And it tastes good. It's kind of 
garong. And I asked the woman who was serving what this was, and I think it has pumpkin and shrimp inside. And I feel weird for eating it without chopsticks, but whatever. Oh. Mm, good. The pumpkin isn't that strong, but like the shrimp is really plump. I can't really show it, but mm, I actually really like this. Got some fish curry. I'm surprised they didn't have butter chicken to be honest. Mm. So now we are gonna get some pizza done and how it works you can get your own pizza done and you basically just get the ingredients you want and give it to the chef so we're here in the cheese room and charcuterie room. Uh, I'm just gonna leave dad to it to pick all the cold cuts and cheeses that he wants but it's it's such a difficult choice like everything else in this rest not restaurant this buffet steak is like mm. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let me put that back on. Okay, we're back in action. The pizza took quite a while, but we're here. We put, not sure what cheeses we put, but we definitely put some coppa cold cuts as well as some salami. It fell apart, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use my. That is, that's, that's a bit salty actually. The cold cuts by themselves already have quite like a salty taste to it. Mm. And then combine it with a, another salty cheese. Mm. Oh, that's so salty. Mm. I'll give you the bread though, it's pretty fluffy and a good solid bread. Okay, the, the elements by themselves, they're, they're good by themselves, but in a pizza, it just intensifies that salty flavor. I, I'm gonna get a kidney stone just eating that. Oh man. Not the best choice of ingredients. <laughs> I feel like pound for pound cheese and charcuterie room is the most value for money because this stuff is so expensive normally. Cheese and wine. It's good time. Green rice. Meron yung Japanese rice. Yung ano yung kamame. 100 earthy. Cream. Wala yung sauce. Mmm. That's strong. Guys, I'm living my best life right now. This is so good. No more savories. That chapter of my life is done. Dessert time. Go on, say that Tagalog word. Say that again, huh? Uh, I don't know. I'll just uh, put in the. Puto bong bong. 
I'll just write it in the, <laughs> the salt. Basically a glutinous rice thing. Just put it in the salt. Oh, Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Chicken on top. More? Yeah. yeah. And then a bit of food. Yeah. yeah. One of the big downsides of getting halo halo in a restaurant or just on the street is that you don't get to choose your toppings, but here the per you can you can make your ideal halo halo. So this is some that my mom made. Let's taste it. Ooh, got some of those beans, the ube, the leche flam, that sweet, sweet condensed milk. This is so good. Give it a good mix. Ooh, what do we have here? Some bananas, some... Mm. Your ideal halo halo, right here in Spiral. My stomach is approaching critical mass, but we must press on to desserts. Um, a few jarred items as well as some interesting Rice Krispies. No, not Rice Krispies, Corn Flakes that come in white chocolate, milk chocolate, and matcha. Oh. That could be a really addicting breakfast cereal. Mm. There's this interesting creme brulee that I saw. I couldn't resist getting it. It's a Parmesan creme brulee. I've never heard of it, but... Ooh. Yeah. You, you, you kind of get a bit of that cheesiness and the creaminess of the creme brulee. Mm. This is a beautiful creme brulee. Got some chocolate lava cake for you. That spoon went right through it. Oh, it is lava. Oh. Oh. That has a really intense chocolate flavor. <coughs> that's not even a cake, that's, that's a pudding. Some fresh watermelon to finish it off. Mm. That's so juicy and sweet. So guys, what an experience. That was the spiral buffet for you at Sofitel. Me and the family are just relaxing here by the pool outside. Uh, we're just waiting to digest what was a pretty big meal. Okay, big lie. Um, it wasn't that big of a meal for me. I was, I've been experiencing some pretty bad stomach aches for the past two days. So I didn't really get to um, eat as much as I wanted to because so, I've still been recovering. But man, I've been to the Bacchanal Buffet at Las Vegas, which if you don't know, it's meant to be their best and biggest buffet in Vegas. But Sofitel's spiral easily tops that for me. Like, just in terms of sheer variety, 
and quantity of food man you, it was really cool seeing all the chefs as well in their little stations preparing the food fresh for you and it barely ran out man this has been an experience so guys i think we're just gonna stay here for a little bit more and just wait so we can go home get some sleep thank you guys for watching this another of our food adventures and i hope to see you guys on our next video